Hey everybody, it's Cheyenne and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to go through um, the Otis website with you guys and also answer some general questions that I've been getting a lot of. And oh, <laughs> if you hear any noises in the background, it's my pug, so sorry, but <laughs> he's very, very loud. <laughs> he just gets louder and louder by the day, but we all love him. Um, so yes, I am on the Otis website right now. It's www.onlinedas.com. Now, a lot of the questions I've been getting is, how do I enroll? What does this program mean? I live in this state. Um, I'm interested in becoming a dental assistant. Is this program right for me? What all does this program entail? So I just kind of want to break it down for everybody. So in my description box down below, I do have a link to this website. I also have states. I believe there's 18 of them um, because I had a subscriber tell me that Idaho should have been on there. So thank you so much. Um, so there's 18 states that do not require any type of education to be a dental assistant. So basically that means that you can be trained within an office and you don't actually have to go through like an accredited program to be a licensed dental assistant. You can do it on your own. Um, the best thing I kind of compare it to is like, like beauty school almost, I guess you can compare it to. Like you do a little program or you learn on the side and then you go and do your state exams. Um, that might not be the best <laughs> thing to compare it to, but you know what I'm saying. So basically down below in my description box, if you live in any of those 18 states that are listed, if you're interested in becoming a dental assistant, you can go to this website. And with my promo code Cheyenne, this course is $500. And basically this is an 18 week course. You would sign up to take this. It's $500 for the course, $100 for all the material, and then $100 for the textbook. So you'd be in at about 700 bucks. The textbook is optional. You don't actually have to purchase the textbook. If you can find the textbooks through a friend or like there's websites where you can rent textbooks, um, you could do that instead if you wanted to save a little bit of money. But basically you do this course for 18 weeks. It teaches you all about dental assisting. And when I say all about dental assisting, this website has a ton of information on it. Okay, it has a ton of course material. It breaks down the whole dental assisting book. It also has 10 or Dan B test exams, like practice test. Um, they have them for radiology, infection control. Your, I think there's F on here too. Um, so there's a bunch of practice tests for your Dan B test. So you're gonna go through this course, right? It's 18 weeks and you're gonna go through this material on your own. It is an online course. So this is material that you need to go through, you know, on your own time, but there is a time limit. There's 18 weeks to do this. And then of course you need to get um, a 70% to pass. So a C to pass the course. And then when you're completed with this course, you will receive a certification saying that you've gone through a dental assisting program and that you've learned the basics of dental assisting. With this course, it also recommends um, practicum sites. So you would have to reach out to dentists within your area and ask them, let them know you're doing an online dental assisting course and that you would like to, or if you could, you know, do like a practicum site within their office. Now you're not going to be paid for this. Some offices might offer to pay you, which would be great, but most offices, you know, you're there just to learn. So you're doing like sterile or you're just kind of watching them set up procedures. You're following an assistant around. Now you do you want to you do want to do this for a few weeks, um, or even as long as they'll let you. And honestly, it could potentially lead to a job, so it's really important. You want to make sure you're showing up on time. You want to make sure you're doing a good job. You're offering to help. Um, but yeah, basically, you're just shadowing staff members in a dental office to see hands on, and they might even let you do some hands on things. But it's basically in office training, which is very important. But you would do that on your own time outside this course, okay? So say you're doing that, say you pass this course, you get a 70%, you get your certification. Now also, you'll need to figure out within your state, which you can do on danby.org, um, or you could ask, you know, this website for help. There is like a little 
box down here if you have any questions. And this little tooth guy is named Otis, so he can help you answer those questions. But you need to find out within your state if you need to have your radiology license, um, if you need to have infection con control and things like that. So again, those are tests that you're gonna have to schedule on your own time and pass, okay? Those are state exams. And I know it sounds super overwhelming and it sounds like a lot, but it's really not because this website guides you through it. Um, but you're gonna have to do a lot of these things on your own. So if you don't work well, if you're not like self-efficient and work well by yourself, you're probably gonna wanna do a different program, but this a program is great for assistants that want to, you know, want to work at their own pace and kind of do it on their own time and that are self-efficient and, you know, like doing things from home and things like that. But a lot of these things you're going to have to set up on your own. So again, it's a great program, especially for the price. I mean, I'm a self-driven person. So personally, if I would have known about this when I first got the dental assisting, I 100% would have taken this course because my program was $10,000, which was a lot of money. And this program, I give with my promo code, Cheyenne, is $500. Like, I can't even explain how cheap that is for the material. Like, it's crazy. Bruce, quiet, buddy. <laughs> Just barking at, you know, male people like dogs do, <laughs> trying to protect me. <laughs> but, um, like I said, this program is just a great price for all the material that it has. So once you have all your, you've passed this course, you've taken your Danby test and, you know, you've gotten some practicum experience, that's when you can start reaching out to offices and, you know, trying to find a job. I always stress the people that even if they're just hiring front office staff, like receptionists or sterile techs, take any job you can get in a dental office because that'll get your foot in the door and then potentially could lead to other positions like a dental assistant. So take anything you can get. Any experience is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I know it sounds like a lot, but once you get into it, it's really not that bad. It's easy to navigate through, especially with this program. It really, really helps you. Huh, I feel like that probably was a lot of information, but I've been getting a lot of um, emails and I always tell people to go on danby.org. Um, if you're interested in dental assisting, look up your state requirements, see what you need to do. Don't be afraid to call Danby, email them. I have emailed them a dozen times and asked questions. Don't be afraid to do any of that type of stuff. But yeah, so I want to show you guys, or I want to show you guys this website. So let's say you, you, you know, live in one of those 18 states that don't require any education. Now, if you live outside those 18 states, the requirements are a little bit different. So you still could take this program. There's just a lot of different elements that you have to go through um, to get certified as a dental assistant. So it does kind of complicate things. Um, these states listed down below are just the, the easiest states to kind of get certified as a dental assistant. Um, so again, let's go through this. So I'm on the website here, right? And, oh, can I move this? I'm gonna move me here. So I already have a login, but you will go to enroll today if you're interested. I already have a login. Um, if it's your first time here, you would create a new account down here where you would do your, you know, your username, your password, you would pay for the course and the course material in the textbook. Um, again, the textbook is optional. But anyways, I've already signed up. So I'm gonna log in here. Now, this is all of the uh, material that's in here. So we've gone through this before in another video where I took some tests and I didn't do so good. But these are all the sections within the textbook. So it's laid out really nicely for you. There's practice test. Now, one of my favorite things in here is the mock dental assisting board examinations. So even if you've already gone through a dental assisting program or you're in one already, if you're taking these Danby tests, your general chair side, infection control, radiation, 
these would be great just to pay for for practice test to pay the $500 to get these tests. I guess it'd be like 600 with the coursework price, but to pay that price just for these tests would be awesome. I know so many assistants that pay hundreds of dollars for these practice Danby tests online and they don't get any of this other information with it. They don't get these interactive games. They don't get these other quizzes. They get nothing. So even if you're already in a program and you just want extra help with your Danby test, this would be fantastic just to pay for it to take these tests. Um, let's click on general chair side. So again, it's, it's a practice test. Um, I spoke to the creator of this website and he has told me that they keep up on the Danby test and they, you know, make sure that what they're, have these practice tests in are actually on the Danby test. So these are great tests to take. 120 questions, you guys. That's about as long as these tests are when you go to take them. So there's so many there's just so much great material on here, and this is why I actually love this program. So what's the correct sequence for placing sealants? We're not going to do this whole test, but I'll answer a couple questions. Um, placing sealants. Clean, isolate, fetch. So isolate, clean, etch is what I would think. Because you put your little cotton roll in, you clean the tooth, and then you put the etch on it. Woohoo! Well, that's cool. So it tells you as soon as you answer the question if you got it right or wrong, which is great. A double ended knife with kidney shaped blades used in the periodontal surgery is in kidney shaped blades. I don't do periodontal surgery, so. It's definitely, I don't think it's a, it's not a blade, a Kirkland knife, is that from Costco? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with an Orban knife just cause it sounds funky. Oh, it was a Costco knife, dang. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, there's just tons of great, and I know I keep saying that, but I just really wanna stretch or get across to you guys about how much material there is on here. Like, it's just amazing. But anyways, I um, was able to get more access to here um, to this program. So I want to show you some of the things that I didn't have access to before. One of my favorite things, I think it was in section seven, was this game here was one of my favorites. Okay, so this tray setup, drag and drop exercise. So this is what I was talking about when this, this course also has some ortho material in it too, because you can click on any of these and basically it will show you what instruments goes into that procedure. You drag and drop them onto a tray um, to kind of put like the correct placement of the instruments. Now, most of the office I've worked in, there's not really like a correct placement of instruments. Some offices do have that. My office, they kind of just get all messed up and we just organize them when we open them for procedures. Um, but this is so great to learn what the instruments are called and also um, just what they look like and kind of learning what is in that setup. So let's do, which one should we do? Let's do an amalgam, a nice silver filling. Okay, so of course this is your tray and over here is what you'll need for the procedure. So these are all different types of instruments. And if you put your, you know, your mouse over them, it tells you the name of it, which is fantastic. So you can learn the name of the instruments, what it's used for, air water, small condenser, acorn burnisher, syringe, I mean, these are all, it's just great to learn these instruments. This is most importantly, what you'll need to know as a dental assistant is your instruments. And of course your teeth numbers are the lots to know as a dental assistant, but in school, 
I didn't have anything interactive like this. So I think this is fantastic. And basically you just go through here and you drop, you know, where things go. Um, your amalgam well would go here. And let's see. Oh, your wooden wedges. Uh, here? No. So it doesn't stick if it's not right. There we go. But yeah, you go through and displace the instruments. But again, it's about learning what the instruments are and what they're used for and what procedures. So again, a great exercise that I wasn't able to find anywhere else on the internet. So I mean, it's just a, it's just a good program. There's just a lot of information. Um, another cool thing is if you, I think it was this section. Trying to find it. Was it this one? No, but this is great information as well. There's also a uh, section here that has um, um, charting and charts, which of course is something that's very important as a dental assistant. What is it though? Oh, this is an exam. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> but yeah, there's just so much information. Like I'm amazed how much information there is. And I know I keep saying that, so I'm really sorry, but it's just, it's just crazy to me. Oh, which section is it? Is it in patient information? Maybe it's this one. Well, this is all very important stuff too, but it has front desk interactive dental office. Is that it? I think this is it. So we'll put our name in there. Oop, I can't spell my name clearly. <laughs> this is it. Okay. So charting exercises. So these are all names of patients. So we'll just pick on one. Um, let's do, oh, that's a sad photo. <laughs> let's do Gregory. Okay, so of course, an important part of being a dental assistant is charting. So you're gonna be marking, you know, fillings that the patient already has, fillings that the patient needs, any decay, crowns, bridges. I mean, anything that's on their teeth. Basically, when the dentist does an exam, you're gonna be charting those. So this is kind of teaches you, you know, what a chart would look like depending on the program that your doctor, your office uses, and then all the different, you know, symbols and what they mean, which is pretty basic for like Eagle Soft or Dentrix. So this is a stainless steel crown. So your doctor would be like, okay, number 19 has a stainless steel crown. So you'd click on this, go number 19. Okay. And then you know, after the doctors looked at the x-rays, he might be like, okay, you know, number nine has a peri periacopal abscess. So you click on that, put that on nine. Oops. Put 
I want to go on nine. I don't know. Why did I click off of it again? Am I doing something wrong? Hmm, I don't know why it doesn't like that one. Maybe it has to be on, I don't know. But anyways, you guys see what this means. So basically it's just charting, which is fantastic. And then you can go to like numbering systems. You know, it talks to you about how we number teeth and the different surfaces. Patient handouts is on here. This is fantastic too, because of course, like after procedures, uh, we'll hand out handouts. And this also is like new patient registration. I like this English and Spanish as an option down there too. That's great. Okay, perfect. So it kind of shows you like what basic, you know, dentist or dental offices use for this type of information. So there's just a lot of good practice tests on here and information. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else is super cool on here. I don't know. There's just so much. It's mind blowing to me. But yes. I've also been getting a lot of questions too, if I think this program is good. And of course I do, like I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't. I have said in other videos too, that I didn't used to be a big fan of online dental assisting courses because I really feel that practicum sites are very important in learning you know, within an office. And also the ones I had seen in the past didn't have a lot of information on them. They didn't have anything. They didn't have dandy practice exams or anything like this. Um, but when I, when the person that created this reached out to me and I looked through all this stuff, I was absolutely amazed. There's just so much information. And the person that actually made this has dental experience. So they understand everything that we need to learn. And there's just so many fun things and it makes it fun learning these things. I, as someone in school, I'll be honest with you, found dental assisting, like my program in general was so boring. I felt like my teachers just read out the textbook. There wasn't a lot of like lab time or things like that. That's why I felt like I learned the most within my dental office, like my first dental office that I got a job in. But this has so much material in it, it has so many interactive games and tests and, and course material and virtual labs. And you can move at your own pace. I mean, if you have a weekend just to bust through a bunch of these. I mean, you could complete this in like six weeks if you wanted to, but you have up to 18 weeks, which is fantastic. And again, the price point is just chef's kiss. I mean, seriously, you could be $700 and have your dental assistant or certification. That's crazy. And there are other expenses too, like your damn B tests do cost um, you can look about, look them up on Danby for your state, but your dental assisting exams, like your radiology and things like that, those are a different price. Um, but this course is crazy. There's just so much information, but anyways, I just wanted to give you guys another breakthrough of the website and show you some things that I couldn't quite show you last time. Um, so I hope this was help or I hope this was helpful. And I know it's a lot of information. My what I suggest to everybody is if you're truly interested in dental assisting, reach out to Danby, look up your state requirements. Um, if you have questions about this website, you know, go to this website and you can ask questions on here. You can type in your little question here like, hey, I live, oh, I cannot type today, I live. <laughs> in you know, Oregon is 
can you help me? Whatever it may be. I'm really not good at typing today. <laughs> and then you would just send it and Otis, little tooth guy will reach out to you and try to answer your questions. So again, it's just, it's just a really cool program. So I know I keep talking about it, but I'm very excited about it. So I hope I've answered the questions about this for you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I'm like in a chatty mood. So let's chat for a second. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys had a great Halloween and it was safe. Um, yeah, I had a really fun Halloween and I absolutely love dressing up. I love like being somebody different on Halloween and doing my hair and my makeup. And if you look on my Instagram, I was Harley Quinn. <laughs> It was pretty exciting. Um, it was fun. The costume turned out really, really cool. Temporary tattoos though are very hard to get off. And I had to like scrub my cheeks because I had rot in here and then like a little heart. And I definitely could not go to work like that. So <laughs> I really had to scrub to get this off, but it was a lot of fun. So yeah. Well, anyways, I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you in um, my next video. All right. All right. Bye guys.